Hey, it's Cal Ewing here coming at you from sunny but wintry Calgary. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, mitigating more risks as a node investor and identifying what some of those risks are. Um, in this one, we're going to talk about what happens or how do we avoid having a borrower draw out a foreclosure over a long period of time. Number one is we avoid the long foreclosure or long eviction states. So I don't like to buy any notes in New York or New Jersey. Uh, Massachusetts, uh, Oregon, places where it takes, you know, over one year, over two years, some even sometimes up to three years to foreclose, or it takes a really long time to evict people. We don't want to mess with that. We want to get paid as quickly as possible. Or if we have to foreclose, we want to be able to do it as quickly as we can so that we can recoup our investment um, and pay off our investors. And usually we also set up the deal so we can make some money on it when we do foreclose. So by doing that, we stick to the shorter foreclosure timelines, and that's typically the non-judicial foreclosure states. Uh, we love states like Texas and Georgia, Tennessee, uh, but also judicial foreclosure states that have a relatively short uh, foreclosure period, which is usually a, a year or less. Um, the other thing we do to mitigate a long foreclosure or the chances of one are we stick to assets or buying notes where the asset is $250,000 or less. And the reason for that is the more affluent um, people are, right? People that can afford a million dollar house or really expensive houses, um, obviously they can afford a, a high mortgage payment and they can probably afford to pay an attorney to draw out the foreclosure process over many, many months. Um, so to mitigate this risk, we just stick to the lower valued assets where typically these are entry level homes or you know, more middle class type people that can't afford an attorney to keep paying an attorney every month to, you know, drag the process. It, it's not saying it can never happen, but we want to reduce that risk by staying in the under $250,000 assets so that we don't have to worry about lengthy, lengthy foreclosure processes where we're not getting paid on our money. It's just sitting idle. Our investors aren't getting paid and they're unhappy. So that's how we deal with that risk when we, before we even start buying notes.